18, we've so 45 coming at you. Um, we're at the uh, Tattoo Custom Culture Thing show. I'm here with Sam, you remember Sam from our tattoo show. Um, and currently, I'm giving away free tattoos. Because, free tattoos. Because I've never done one before, and if we can find anyone dumb enough to actually let me try, then we'll let them do it for free, right Sam? Yep. Because that's funny. Um, but but um, our mate Mickey that won Miss Tattoo at our show is going to about to set herself on fire again. So I'll go get some clips of that, that'll be fucking cool. I really want to tattoo someone, I think that'd be hilarious. So that was Mickey's fire thing, it was very cool. Yep. And you didn't manage to set yourself on fire this time. Woohoo! Good job, good job. <laughs> um, so now we're going to go and look at the Tattoo Girlie pageant. Because you're judging it, right? Yeah. yeah. As you well should, being Miss Tattoo New Zealand. Are they fucking your heart? No, not, uh, not surprising. Yeah. Alright, so we'll cut to that and we'll see some pretty girls yeah. with lots of tattoos. This my sign that I put up. I was joking and saying that this is the artwork that I'm putting up because people are like, because I've never done it before, and they're like, well, how do we know if you're any good? I was like, well, I drew this. Are you gonna get it right? If I don't have to go on stage, yeah. Okay, you don't have to go on stage, yeah. but we'll film it. Yeah. But Sam has to teach me how to do tattoos because I've never done a tattoo before. Like I've got them, but I don't know how to do them. What's your name? Caitlin. It's nice to meet you. I'm Nick. <laughs> this is going to be potentially hilarious. Sam's going to teach me how to do it, and then I've done, and then, and then, and then, then I can go on Instagram and I'll be like, I'm a tattoo artist now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's going to, yeah, it's, we're going to have to change our Instagram from the Empire NZ to Empire Inc. Empire Inc. NZ. Yeah. <laughs> and you're my first and only client. Yeah. This is like that photo shoot that I did. Like that photo shoot that I did with my friend Shannon. Like that was the first and only one. It was like, you know, now I'm a photographer. And now I'm a tattoo artist. Oh, you have all the professions. I'm a very talented individual. Yeah. So this is actually happening. We're going to tattoo this. So this was the design. And now we're drawing it on, kind of, but the pen's defective. But this is going to be hilarious. I can't believe I'm getting away with this, so this is going to be funny. <laughs> oh man, that's a work of art. How do you... You might have to teach me. I mean, I'm not cheap. I can't imagine you being cheap. That's not true, I am very cheap. Not with Picasso style work like that. I just need to get like a real slow motion because this is going to be amazing. So now the $64,000 question, how do you do tattoos? You should probably ask Katsadoos. So how do you do tattoos? Um, I think we need to start with rubber gloves. Oh yeah, I need to go get some of those. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> 
Peace loves long because when he fucks it up, I'll fix it. <laughs> right? He le oh, you left it? Yeah. Oh, weird. All the best people are. I am. <laughs> so you want to set it? I wound it right out so the needle can only go so far. Oh, yeah. So just do it like a pen. So do I drag the plastic tip across or very nearly or? Press it. Yeah. But don't, like, don't stop. If you stop, the ink will go under the skin and spread out, like, blow out. So then I lift off instead of stopping? Yeah. Or if you're gonna stop, just take your bottle off there. Yeah. Literally I'm just go like, I'll do one line look and you can watch. This be the best part <laughs> Plastic's dragging across it. Can you pull it out? I feel like that's not enough. That was too much. So that was too hard or yep. too slow? Was too hard. Really? Too hard and too slow. So a little bit faster and a little bit gentler. Yeah. Because I can't feel. No. Doing well. Too gentle. It's not easy, yeah. So should I re-dip? How do you know when to re-dip? It runs out of ink, so you need to dip it. It's normally about four or five seconds. So I just dip it. Apparently I'm not very good at this. Oh wow, this is bad. It's on your skin. It's on me for life. This is forever. <laughs> so, this is the first tattoo and probably the last tattoo that I've ever done. Um, you're a good sport. I don't think tattooing is for me. <laughs> so, are you, are you stoked? Are you happy? I'm so happy, right. I might come back to you. I'll fix it. Okay, <laughs> now Sam's gonna fix it. Oh wait, we need to get a good photo before you fuck it up. So where do you think that I went wrong? <laughs> um... You actually did surprisingly well, to be fair. There's no blowout. Wow, can you say that to the camera again? You did surprisingly, like, there's no blowout or anything, so you you haven't gone too deep or fucked up too bad. So I'm actually good at this? No, you're not good at it. Oh. <laughs> you have a very shaky hand. I was nervous. How do you think I feel every time I do a tattoo? Hey team, uh, sorry I didn't actually get ending from the show yesterday, we sort of like didn't really see a lot of the car stuff so we um, kind of bailed, went out for dinner, had a, actually a wicked good night out, um, really really good night out, I haven't had a good night out like that for a long time. <laughs> So um, today I was hopefully going to go riding tomorrow, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, so I thought instead, well if that doesn't happen, what I'll do is just give you a quick update on what's happening. Um, so my bike is uh, had a good once over at BM, uh, BRM Cycles out in Kumi, so they've been done a whole bunch of stuff just to get it real dialed in, which is good, it feels great. So I'm just amping to get out there and just smash it down some hills, which would be really good. Um, but the channel itself is actually going to have quite a lot going on coming up soon. We've got a bunch of really cool events coming up and also a lot of car stuff is coming up as well because I've got the Type R Civic, I've got the LC500 and then at the start of March we've also got the uh, brand new Holden Commodore. Fingers crossed I'll be the first person to have a video up about that in this country so that'll be cool. In fact I'll probably be the only person. But yeah so if you're into that sort of stuff hit that subscribe button because there will be a lot of open road stuff happening soon. It's been a bit quiet over the new year but it's all coming back thick and fast. And actually on that note of thick and fast there is actually so much happening that we do need some more hands on deck so if you like what we do and you think you want to have a go then just hit us up like if you if you reckon you can put together a video an article on really anything there's so much happening that we really do need more people involved in what we're doing so 
yeah I'm just looking at my bike I like it so much this was a great trade me purchase I'm so stoked but yeah um, thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it um, I was talking with a girl that I tattooed today and she still thinks it's funny so that's good um, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do any more but maybe we'll colour it in or something I don't know but it was pretty funny nonetheless um, <clears throat> but yeah thanks for watching if you thought it was a cool video give it a thumbs up if you thought it was shit give it a thumbs down and uh, yeah subscribe and we'll see you next time what's happening next I think the next big webisode will be that trip with Holden actually no there's heaps coming up just stay tuned you'll see it's going to be awesome there's heaps happening just unfortunately we didn't really get to finish this video but yeah we'll we'll be hitting 440 soon Justin's got his bike back so we'll be smashing down those and clearing those jumps it'll be great see you next time bye